So Welsh Government's objectives include creating places which are better places to live and to work in. That's a key driver for us as a, as a trust, so it's about empowering communities through community asset development so that they can provide solutions to issues affecting their communities. I think you need to be able to do this community so you can get your bubble or your dollars. Ni wedi cael uh, properties, ni wedi sgwrn mewn i um, uh, iechyd hefyd chi'n bod, a ni gyd yn gwybod beth oedd effaith yr uh, Covid wedi cael rhan o'n i gyd. So yn bwysig iawn, bod i'n wneud pethach bach a wneud yn iawn. Some of the organisations and the range of assets that we work with include Miners Welfare Halls, there's a long history of supporting those organisations to be retained in our communities, community centres, sports facilities, heritage facilities, arts facilities, so it's very extensive and broad. We run a food bank, it was every fortnight. People come and just collect bags of food. With the rising cost of living, people got a job just to even put the electric on, never mind buy food. So with us giving them a bag of food, you know, just essentials, is really helping them. The support that Coal Fuels Regeneration Trust have given us has, has been sort of immense. It's one of them ones where They've got the skills, the knowledge and the expertise and they've allowed us as an organisation to just sort of grow from strength to strength. There was a gentleman coming here earlier and he was like, without do lot, he said, I think I would have starved. So it is helping people. I've been working here and 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 I've been working here so I think you need to share it with us, but you can go back to your mind and go back to your mind and go back to your mind. The Chriodd Sefydliad Celf Joseph Herman Cymru dros ei gymlynydd yn ôl pan weilon ni o'r siarad yn gilydd sylweddol ni bod bod ddim i ddangos bod Joseph Herman wedi byw a gweithio yn yr ardal. The Chriodd ni Dros ei gymlynydd yn ôl gweithod y grwpiau yn ysgolion a disgu iddo nhw pethau amdano hawliau dynol a'r bywyd oedd Joseph Herman wedi byw a fel yr effaith oedd wedi cael ar ei waithau. A oedd arni, mae'r pethau wedi newid dros y blynyddau a naw mae oedolion hefyd eisiau cerdded yn olion trad Joseph Herman a disgu am ei waithau, a fwy am ei waithau a'r bywyd oedd wedi byw yn yr ardal. Ond wrth cael yr ian wrth y Coal Fields Regeneration Trust, ni wedi cael wneud taith o gwmpas yr ardal i ma bobl gallu cerdded i hunain a dilyn ar app, ar ei ffôns a gallu cael y gwybodaeth i gyd amdano y pethau sy'n addas i'r prosiect. Um, Joseph was really interested in painting miners and that was some of his greatest work and um, you know that the history of this community is is about mining so I think the Coalfields Regeneration Trust is is understands what we're doing much better than a lot of other organizations might do the communities we work with are some of the most deprived in the UK, so a long-term partnership approach is, is needed and that's the approach that we take. So the support we provided is flexible, it's based on the needs of that community, on the needs of that asset, and that's the approach we, we think is needed for the long-term sustainability of those assets. Cameron Village Trust has, has evolved over the years. Um, obviously, and health and well-being has become a massive part of our project now. And creating a community hub facility here uh, with the you know, community cafe attached has been a great uh, meeting place for for people in terms of growing friendships, uh, in, you know, in terms of enjoying a fabulous environment that we have here. So we uh, we own a micro hydro plant just on, on the edge of the lake here. Um, we've obviously uh, the environment is a, a key element for us as a charity and actually features in our objects uh, as well so it's very very important and particularly more important currently. Everywhere in the valley should have these you know especially the bottom end of the valleys which has a fantastic flow of water. So you look at it now if we'd produced if we'd had these 100 years ago then we wouldn't have had we wouldn't be in a drill really now and we we've total green energy. 
I got two young grandchildren as well. Uh, I wouldn't, as much as I like the colliery and underground, I wouldn't like to see them going into that, that type of industry. Number 10 The Circle is home to the Tradiga Medical Aid Society uh, Museum. It's designed to look like a doctor's waiting room uh, to reflect sort of uh, a time gone by. Uh, and it's filled with lots of interactive exhibits, artifacts from the Medical Aid Society, uh, and basically just it pays homage to that society, which was the forerunner of the National Health Service. It was in a pretty poor state, and its future was pretty much uncertain. Um, at one point, it looked like it might have been boarded up and perhaps not open again. Uh, Coalfields Regeneration Trust came on board, uh, and thanks to them, you have what we see now uh, a wonderfully restored building. And Iron Bevan took his inspiration from the society that was running perfectly well here. Um, and as it says on the wall, you know, he stood up in Parliament and said, We will tradigarise you, which is a, you know, a, a massive thing for a, for a small village in South Wales. So I think to have this on our doorsteps, to have this for the general public to come in and be proud of, is great for Tradiga and for the for the county. The Cridium and Bosig Yawn, the Sturred Bessin, the Wooden Nade was right again, Brendan Retha. A heavy bath or quite smart, say nothing more in him. I've been creating in a stead and the Sturred Bessie waited the good master, a bath or quite a roll in need, and the Bosig Yawn in the Sharagar, say nothing. So community assets are key, ass key facilities in our communities. They're places where people come together, they share, they learn, and it's a place where they can feel a part of the community so they can access perhaps sports opportunities, might be learning opportunities, so all those things are really important to creating a better place to live and to work, which is what we want to see in our communities, so we want to build their resilience and build the opportunities that people can access. What really motivates me is the fact that I've grown up in Coalfield communities, I really know the communities inside out, the issues that affect them, and I understand the barriers to people progressing to opportunities, and my role as I see it is to be able to build those opportunities in our communities and enable communities to respond to those issues that they face.